Leos, welcome to February 2019. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, I'll be honest with you guys, I'm having a hard time tapping into your energy. Um, I don't know if you guys are hiding something or just really have your walls up this month. Um, emotional walls, just really kind of, there we go. Okay, so this is face down, Leo. So it's something that you haven't faced for February 2019, okay? Your alone time, your isolation and your rest at home is tapping into your inner child, okay? Your inner child, this young fire sign in you, the young fire sign in you, um, is really getting a lot of work done, okay? A lot of your, your, you're healing a lot of inner traumas, okay? Which is excellent. It may not feel like it, but you are. So that lunar eclipse that just passed that was in Leo, it was really the end of, I guess you could say like an end of an era when it comes to the Leo energy. So it was the Leo full moon, new moon in Aquarius, and it was a really dramatic way to flush out what is no longer serving you. So you either hoarded it and pulled it back in, like when it gets, when I mean, okay, so it'll get brought to the surface in a way where you'll, your mind will race back to it. You know, something that happened in the past, probably a long time ago. So your mind will come back to it or you'll bring it up with your partner. Your partner will bring it up or, you know, you'll, you'll get a Facebook memory and it'll pull you back to that time. Don't dismiss it. Like really like look at it and be like, okay, what was I meant to learn from that? What lesson was I meant to learn from that? And why? Where did it come from? And a lot of the times when we do, we ask those whys, we're able to be like, oh my God, that time when I was a kid, this person did this and that's why I yada, yada, yada. So recognizing that Leo is totally healing your inner traumas because a lot of times as kids, you know, well, something will happen to us and we'll either talk to an authority figure about it and they screw up what they say to us because, you know, that's just a lot of times how it is, right? They don't have that, um, that personal experience that we have uh, going through it. And a lot of times the parent will kind of just say, it's okay, instead of going through the healing process with you. And it's it's nobody's fault, it just is what it is. A lot of times we don't take kids very seriously. Um, you know, something as in insignificant, well, I shouldn't see, I just proved it. Something as small to us as a skin knee could be huge to a child, especially a Leo child. Mom doesn't care that I'm hurt. You know, and then we, we hold on to that and we put it in our database. Mom doesn't care that we're hurt, you know, and then we grow up being like, my mom doesn't care about me. I'm hurting emotionally and I'm not going to go to my mom because when I was a child, I skinned my knee and my mom wasn't there to kiss my boo-boo. You know, like it's crazy how it works. Like I've been doing the work as well, the inner work. And I'm just like, wow, like I really, you know, that one time I made that comment and my stepdad hit me across the head, I then decided that I was stupid. You know, like, especially back in the day, my, my husband and I were just talking about, you know, how back in the day we would be physically, you know, tapped or, or smacked on the hand or, or smacked on the mouth to be like, don't say that. And now as adults, we still have that trauma. We still have that trauma. So your alone time, your isolation, that inner reflection that you're doing, that rest at home, that kind of solitude, we're kind of pushing the world out. That's because you're trying to heal. That's because you're trying to um, gain momentum when it comes to your healing as well, okay? So don't ignore those signs from the universe that are like, hey, what's going on here? Um, you're going to feel it the most, Leo, at night, okay? You're going to feel it at, at night the most, and you're heartbroken. You're heartbroken. Something's going on, Leo. Something's going on. If you're having trouble sleeping, if you're having trouble having sound sleep, like uninterrupted sleep, if you're having trouble falling asleep, or if your dreams are just jacked up, something is wrong. You're not at peace. You're not at peace. And it's because of a heartbreak, pain involving three people. I was just talking to the cancers about this. A lot of the times it may not even feel like our pain because it's our parents, or our grandparents' pain that our cellular, whatever, our DNA just holds on and grabs onto it and says, that's our pain too. You know, um, what's an example? Okay. An example I will give you is my grandmother married an alcoholic who just took off with, and she was left with three kids in a, in a new country. So my grandma hates men. My grandma hates men, period. My mom picked that up for my grandma. Mom hates men. I should hate men too. My mom also has huge issues with men. <laughs> okay. So my mom picked it up and then sure enough, I'm born and for a very long time. 
I hated men. I will be completely honest. I picked it up. I was like, well, you know, my grandfather did this to my grandma. My, my dad did this to my mom. Men, all men suck. I expected it to happen to me as well because that level of expectation because of that whatever. And it wasn't until I was like, no, I'm deciding against it. I'm owning it that I'm clearing that history for my daughter, right? I'm, I'm clearing that karmic debt that says, hate all men, destroy all men, you know, kill all men. I'm clearing that uh, karma for my daughter to be more of, you know, love everybody. Um, but Leo, what I'm trying to express is that a lot of the pain that you're feeling in your heart, you're going to feel it times, times three, times four, times five, because you're healing trauma from even your parents, you know, it really took this generation. It was that Pluto and Scorpio generation that came in. That's like, no, you know, this is where that runs out. That's this is where those karmic debts run out. Like we really came in uh, that Pluto and Scorpio that happened back 30 years ago, came in and said no more, you know, and it really forced us all to take a look at our demons. Um, and now with Jupiter that just was in Scorpio, it really expanded all that. OK, so. Let's keep going, okay? Because if you guys aren't at peace, it's time to heal the traumas instead of just pushing them to the side or pushing them under. And change your thought process when it comes to it. If it wasn't working, if you still have the same thought process when it comes to a pain that happened in your lifetime, change your thought process. Be like, okay, well, yeah, that happened. And I've always thought that it was messed up. I've always been angry about it. Let me try forgiving it. Let me try moving on from it because obviously being angry and holding on to it isn't serving me. Okay. And then you can start to have more fun Then you couldn't. Cause I think what a lot of people are suffering from, especially in February is lack of fun, <laughs> like lack of fun, social anxiety, high anxiety, and just things just aren't as fun as they used to be. I think that's what's going on. Maybe because we're always doing it for the gram. Maybe because we're always, you know, doing it as a way to impress somebody else and we're not actually having fun for legitimate reasons, who knows? Who knows? Maybe we've just forgotten how to have fun in, you know, 2019. I definitely don't know how to fun have fun anymore. <laughs> fun for me is just no bills. <laughs> That'd be awesome. And vacation. Okay. February 2019, Leo, is about your family. Okay. The security within your family. New beginnings are forming. New ideas, new um, ideologies, new theories, new perspectives. Um, when it comes to your family and how your family feels supported, how your family gives support and takes support from you, okay? It's now time to really, uh, as mentioned before, clear out what uh, all those family traditions um, that are just so outdated and not serving anybody and really bringing it in. Um, an obstacle and an aid to that, Leo, is that you need to move on when it comes to your thoughts, okay? But that's so much easier said than done, right? So you need to change your frame of mind when it comes to security within your family. And that's an obstacle within itself because it's, like I mentioned before, it's inbreded from eons and generations and we're infinite beings. And, you know, especially the family that we have, like that's that's karmic, right? So all of these years we come in and, you know, for instance, my husband treats his dad like a son. And when we did a past life reading, it's because in a past life he was, his dad was his son. So really, Leo, you're starting to see uh, that karmic connection within your family and friends. And you're realizing like, there's no way that you know, this is just a one lifetime thing. Like I know that we have some history and now in this lifetime, I'm moving on. I'm deciding to empower myself by saying I'm moving on from even the pain that I feel on a cellular level. I'm moving on from it just to free myself. But like I said, it's an obstacle. Okay. It's not going to be an easy thing and it requires you to go uh, radio silent and go inward. You know, maybe it, maybe doing a social media, um, or even just any type of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, a a fasting would be a good way to really cleanse you guys. Subconsciously, you're feeling deceived by something and you're thinking that you're very powerless because of this deception. So something new did begin within your family that was a level of deception in your opinion, okay? And now how you're, how people are looking at you as if you're just this person who's so focused on their pride, so focused on their image, so focused on their reputation and doesn't actually care. They're seeing the Leo as superficial, shallow, 
egotistical and very one level. That's how you're being viewed right now. I'm sorry to say it. And that is because of a new beginning within your family. So it's stemming from your family and this perceived deception within your family and you thinking that you have no power over it. You saying, I'm, you thinking that you're powerless to it automatically removes the power from it. You automatically step down from your throne. And come on, Leo, you guys are pride. You guys are pride rock. You guys are, you know, you guys are very powerful. You guys have a huge influence in your family. My niece is four years old. She's got her moon and Leo and she runs her family. <laughs> she runs her family. She's got Leo parents. So it's, it's, a, it's a constant struggle, but she runs her family. And I think it's because at four years old and her moon and Leo, so emotionally having that Leo energy, and at four years old, there's no blockers yet. <laughs> there's no society saying, no, you can't have that. Her parents saying, no, calm down, child. Her stepping into her power, her being true Leo, she runs her family. And she runs it in a positive, optimistic way. She's the reason why we're always laughing and smiling and enjoying ourselves and having fun because she's in, she's an evolved moon in Leo because she's so young. She doesn't have all of those limitations that society has placed on her. So coming back into your power and saying, it's not feeling powerless, saying, actually, I'm not powerless when it comes to my family. I just have disempowered myself. I've stepped out of it because of this new beginning that happened within my family security, I've taken a step back when I should have stepped up because everybody was looking to you, Leo. Everybody was looking to you to be like, Leo, what do we do? We have this new beginning. We're feeling great, but you've been in isolation mode. You've been in retreat mode. They're missing you. They're like, where are you at? And they, they're, they're chalking it up to selfishness. They're chalking it up to you just focusing on how you're being seen. They're chalking it up to you just focusing on your, on your reputation. That's what they're chalking it up as. But you and I both know that that's not the case. You just feel powerless. You just feel powerless. It's not that you're you're vain and shallow and you're only focusing on yourself. You just feel like you don't have that control. You just feel like you don't have that power to make a difference because something happened, this new beginning within your family that you felt was a betrayal, was some sort of deception, which was some sort of um, haze that you're like, I don't have any control. I don't have any power. I don't have any authority. But moving on from those thoughts, Leo, will bring you back to your truth, will bring you back to the fact that you are somebody to be looked up to and people naturally look up to you. You're a leader. <laughs> You're a leader. Leos are, I think a Leo is one of, is more of a leader than an Aries because a Leo leads people. Um, they're a ringleader. They're able to bring people toward them in a positive way. I was just talking to my Leo cousin about it and she was saying, she was like, I don't know if they're a Leo. I'm like, you know when somebody's a Leo. <laughs> you know, they demand attention. They have they have natural confidence that is I would kill for. And they're optimistic, they're fun, and they have a natural sunny disposition. So the fact that you're feeling like this breaks my heart because if a Leo is feeling like this, then we don't have a friggin' hope in <laughs> we don't have a chance because Leos need to be the shining star. You, you need to step back into it, okay? Forget about the issues that you're having with your family. Well, I shouldn't say forget about it, but step away from that and just step into your power and step into your truth. Um, another thing that you can do, Leo, is just express yourself. This 2019 is all about self-expression. It's all about um, saying what, you know when you when you get like sweaty and you your heart starts racing, that's when you know to just go for it. And all it takes is one second. And a Leo has that courage. And it's funny because I'm waiting for a Leo in my family to, to say what needs to be said. I'm waiting for a Leo to just be like, listen, because nobody else is going to do it. <laughs> I'm not going to do it as Libra. I'm not going to, no way. So I'm just waiting and putting it on the, on the Leo to do it. Okay. Step into your power. Say what needs to be said. You only have to do it once. You only have to do it once. And that's going to help everybody. It's going to help your entire family and it's going to remove this deception. Visibility is truth, right? Visibility, all, it, all you need is to uncover the lie or the deception and bring it to the light in order to clear it, in order to bring the truth in, okay? Family and friends, manifestation, creation, enlightenment, this is where your family and friends are at. 
Every relationship in your life you have created by either not speaking your truth, um, by either disempowering yourself, by giving them your power, by giving your power away, by not putting up boundaries, every relationship in your life you have created, okay? So I want you to really like take a second to, to really own that and to like look at your relationships and be like, okay, where have I not spoken up? Where have I said, where have I inadvertently said that's okay? That treatment or this treatment is okay. Where, where, have, I, where have I done that? And how can I now stop doing that? You know, <laughs> How can I now going forward realize that it is in my control and I create the relationships that I have, okay? Own it. Really look at your relationships. Really look around and be like, okay, you know, what's my relationship like with my mom? And how did I create that? What's my relationship like with my dad, with my siblings? How did I create that? And how can I change that? A lot of the times, all that's needed is an apology or even just for for, for you to say, you know what? I'm letting this go. I've, I, 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 can, I could have been wrong in this aspect, yes. And a lot of times people, we naturally, humans naturally are, I think, loving creatures, harmonious, everything comes back to love. Like maybe I'm so gullible and naive, even watching the Ted Bundy um, thing on Netflix, which I didn't even want to do, but I'm a Scorpio husband. So I'm watching the Ted Bundy and I'm like, I'm like, I'm listening to this, this monster, this, this monster, and it stemmed back to him not receiving love from his mom. His whole life, the lives that he ruined, the karmic debts that he created, his whole life and his legacy stemmed back to love or lack thereof. That's what it all came back to. So naturally, for me, it just was reconfirmation that humans' natural ability is love. That's their natural state, is love. So going to the people that you care about and showing them the love side of you, showing them, coming to them with love, not with regret, not with resentment, not with hate, not with anger, coming to them with straight love and acceptance and unconditional love, you're gonna transform every relationship you have, every single one. We're only human, we are only human, okay? <laughs> Hope and fear, Leo, is emotional confusion, okay? Being left out in the cold, being confused emotionally, not knowing what's going on, not knowing where your heart's at, not knowing why you're feeling a certain way, and not also also not knowing what to do with your emotions, um, especially over that, that eclipse period. That eclipse period would have brought in a lot of heavy, heavy emotions. And it's it, you have a fear of being confused when it comes to your emotions because you know you're then going to have to do the work. But you hope for that confusion as well because then you know you're going to have to do the work. <laughs> and with work comes rewards, okay? So this is your outcome, Leo, for February 2019. I love you guys so much. Anyways, powerless. Keep thinking that you're powerless. And because you keep thinking that you're powerless, you're going to be giving out way more than what you're coming back in. So because you feel disempowered, you're going to be pushing energy out as a way to feel, as a way to kind of, um, what's the word I'm looking for, compensate for a lack of power. It's like the guy with the small penis who drives the big truck. You feel so disempowered, so you're going to be pushing out a lot of power just to overcompensate, okay? Okay. Um, Yes, that is positive for sure because you put out, as long as you're putting it out with the sense that you're going to get it back times three in a positive way and not putting it out as a way where I'm so powerless where I feel like I have to, make sure that it's something that is your decision to do. And with that energy, Leo, you're going to realize just how much you're looked up to. People really, really respect you. People really respect you. They realize that you're a hard worker. They realize that a Leo is able to make a plan and follow through. And in our day and age, a lot of people can't step up to that. You know, you guys pretty much are the epitome of fake it till you make it. And then you always make it. <laughs> so it's very, it's, it's incredibly inspiring for those close to you. Um, but it also harbors a lot of, a lot of jealousy, right? but also a lot of envy, but envy is a good thing because envy motivates, right? So keep doing what you guys are doing. Recognize that you have way more power than you give yourself credit for. Remember your, your young Leo self who just demanded what they, they wanted, said what they wanted, and they got what they wanted without fear, without hesitation. 
and they stepped into their light. They stepped into the spotlight um, and they owned it. They owned the fact that they, they garner attention. They didn't shy away from it. You know, Leo's naturally received so much, so much attention and majority of the time it's, it's positive attention. I personally think, I think a lot of Leos uh, receive a lot of positive attention. It's when they don't acknowledge the attention that they naturally get uh, that it can turn kind of negative, right? So that is your outcome for February 2019. Love you, Leos, so much. As always, if you want a personalized reading, my email address is below. I use astrology and numerology for all my readings. Love you guys so much. And also, if you send me an email, uh, you'll get into my mailing list. And then I send out specials every month. This February, I have a self-love special. Um, so yeah, send me an email. Love you guys so much. And I will see you in March. Bye, Leos.